One of the biggest challenges I face is the process of editing my images. If it's a personal project or if it's just a vacation, there are a lot of images to go through. And what I want to do is I want to be able to go through and make my selects. In this case, I want to make uh, selections of the pictures that I made during my vacation this summer. And I took a lot of pictures and I need to make a slideshow uh, of those images, but the process of trying to decide which images I like and don't like and which I want to include can be really daunting, especially when I've photographed thousands and thousands of images. One of the ways that I found has really helped me is to have a process using Lightroom to sort of organize and catalog these images so that I can compare them and decide which one, which images I really like and which ones I want to keep, which ones I want to include in a slideshow and which ones I don't. The, the process has various different steps in it, but there are a couple of points that I just wanted to, to share with you that, that are particularly helpful. Now, when I initially go through my images, I'm just going to be going through them fairly quickly. And uh, in this case, I'll just uh, hit the tab key, hit the tab key here to get rid of these these windows here and uh, press the L key just to get a partial graying out of the screen. And I'll just go through the pictures, seeing which ones I kind of like. And if I like a particular image, I'll just hit the letter P, which will flag it. And what I'll do is I'll just go through the photographs and I'm just going to be reacting within an instant. If I like something, I'll just hit P. And by just giving me this sort of cursory instant reaction really tells me a lot about whether or not the image image works. And so I'll go through all my images and I won't linger on the photographs because I have to imagine that, imagine how you typically would look at an image when you're browsing on a f website like F Flickr or 500px. You're not giving yourself much time to take a look at an image and see whether or not you like it or not. So I'm trying to sort of detach myself from whatever association that I had in terms of where I was or whether, you know, this image does work or not. If I don't immediately react to that image within within those first couple of seconds, then I'm not going to pick it. Uh, it's sort of the first pass that I'll, I'll make in terms of what I'm doing with, it, with the photographs. So I'll go through the entire catalog in this way and make those picks. If there are images that are, are particularly out of focus or poorly exposed, then I'll simply hit the X key uh, and then that will mark it as a image that I want to delete later. It doesn't automatically delete them, it just marks them for deletion. So I'll, I'll go and look at them again, make sure that it's a picture that I want to get rid of, and if so, then I'll just delete it from my hard drive because there's no, no purpose in keeping all those bad images on my file. The next step, step that I take right after that pass is I go into the collections. And this is, this is really where I find that it becomes particularly helpful. The, the collections allows you to catalog images based on different categories. In this case, I find that, that the images that I made in, on this trip fell into different categories. I have them listed here as architecture, details, light, portraits, style. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through those images again, the ones that I flagged, and I'm going to start dragging them into these folders here to indicate to me that, okay, this particular image falls in this particular category. And what that's going to allow me to do, it's going to allow me to start comparing like images to see whether or not I like one image better than another. But before I do that, I just want to show you how to do it. Um, as you can see here, I created uh, a, a collection set called Italy Selects. And I want to create folders within here that sort of, well, that actually sort of identify each of the types of photographs that I was making there. Here I have architecture, details, light, portraits, style. If I want to add something to this category, I'll just simply go here, go to create collection, and I want to create a collection called food. So I'll just type in the word food here. And then instead of top level, I will click on the second button, which says inside a collection set. And I've already created a collection set called Italy selects. And then I'll go ahead and create. So now the image, uh, any image that I drag in here will appear here. This image was selected, was uh, obviously selected, and that's why it showed up in here. Um, but if I don't want that image in there, I can simply delete it 
and it's no longer in, the, in that category. This doesn't mean that the image is deleted from your hard drive. Rather, the image is simply deleted from the catalog. So next, I'm going to go through all the images that I've taken, and I'm going to assign these to a different each to a different category. So let me do that, and uh, I'll show you what the next step is. So now that I have set that up, I can start going through the images here, and I can start dragging them over. Now, you'll notice that I all, I'm seeing all the images from the shoot, but I flagged some of them as the ones that I wanted to pick. So what I can do here is I can go to the library filter, click on attribute, and then by clicking on this icon here, it will show me just the images that I flagged uh, when I did my initial pass. So I'm not going to see all the images, but just the ones that I reacted to. I've created these categories here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag images from this, this, uh, this thumbnail view right into these different categories. And one of the things I immediately noticed was the fact that I have one designated as portraits, but not all the images I took of people involve portraiture. So I want to change that to people. So I simply right click on it and then click rename. And I'm just going to call that instead of portraits, people. Because there are images in there that include both people and architectural items. And I want to make sure that they're uh, in that category. So simply now, if I want to just drag images, I can take this image here and simply drag it over to details. It does have some element of uh, architecture, so I'll go ahead and include it there. Here's another image that has some details of uh, the building. Here's a door, and I'm going to include that in details. And also, there's some interesting stuff that's happening in terms of light, so I'll put it into light. I'm not so much worried that some of these images will show up in multiple categories. That's fine for me. But right now, what I want to be able to do is I just want to be able to choose just images and sort of cull them down. Because right now, I have so many images, and I have only a limited amount of time that I want people to go and look through a slideshow. I don't want to keep going through all these photographs and show every single image to everyone. I, I know most of my friends do not have the patience for that, even though they like me very much and they may enjoy my photographs, but not to the point where they want to sit there for hours looking at pictures. So I'll go in there and I'll just continue to do this. And when I see multiple images like these of people, I'll just drag them in there. And I'll go through all these different categories in here, dragging those images in. And you'll see that this cat those, these categories will build up as you continue doing that. So now I have all these flagged images, and what I want to do is I want to go into each category and start comparing images to see which ones I really like enough that I want to provide a star designation to them. So right now I just have them all flagged, but I want to start winnowing them down to just a fewer number of images. So I'll click on the architectural uh, collection here, which will just give me those images that are in that, in that collection, and I'll hit the C key on my keyboard to get me into the compare. And what you'll see in a moment is that on the left, it will give me the image that is my primary select. And then to the right will be the candidate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare images and see which ones I like more than, than others. So in this case, I like the image on the right much better than I like the one on, on the left if I was going to choose between the two. So this image is sort of going to be the the anchor image for right now, the one I'm going to compare all the other images to, to see whether or not I like them as equally or, or more so. So in this case, I'll simply hit on this key here to switch that image over to the left. And now that image becomes my select. And if that's my select, I'm going to hit the number one on my keyboard to give it one star. So now, if I hit my right key, I can start going through my other images. And I'm going to compare all those images to this first one to see whether or not I like this less or more. If I find an image like this one that I really like, and I think it really is as strong as that first image, then again, I'll hit this key here to make this my select. And then I'll assign it one star. And I'll continue going through these images trying to find one that I like. Here's a case where I have two images that uh, I, I really like and I think compare favorably to this. So for the first image, I'll move it over to the left. 
But before I decide whether or not I want to give it a star or not, I'm going to compare it to the other image and see which of these two I actually like. When I take a look at these photographs, I like this one on the left more because I get this nice backlight uh, in there in the in the couple's hair, and I like the way that their the legs are placed as they're walking. They've kind of walked out of the light in that particular case. So in this case, I'll keep this one here and I'll assign a one value to it or one star. And then I'll continue going through the other photographs. So I like that one over here. So I'll move it over to the left and make it my select. And then I'll continue going through the images and I'll go through this whole process to sort of start figuring out what are the images that I really, really like. And you'll see that there's certain images that I just pass up because at that point I kind of know, you know, I, I don't really like that. So I don't want to assign a star to it because it just doesn't compare as favorably to the other images. And I'll go through this whole process with each individual category. So what will happen is when I go back into my grid view, I start looking and I look at attribute. I can assign not only the images that are flagged, but the ones that are rated with one star. And you'll see that I have a smaller grouping of images at this point. So I've gone, gone from those thousands of images that I initially started with and I start refining my selects to, to just choose those images that I like in each particular category. I'll do that for all the categories and eventually I'll just have my first pass of my edits. So I'll have all these images from all these different categories and using this library filter, I'll be able to select all the images that I flagged and the ones that I've assigned one star to. And that will probably give me a much more workable number of, of images to which to start working on in Lightroom in terms of adjusting white balance, contrast, you know, and doing any of the other things that I want to do with the photographs. I find that this process really allows me to figure out which images not only look good, but work really well in telling the story of my vacation. So I hope that's helpful to you, and uh, I'll be seeing you soon. You can find out more about everything that we do at The Candid Frame by visiting thecandidframe.com where we have interviews, uh, product reviews, commentary, and all things great about photography.